today's questions are all more often than not in the 650 range medium difficulty questions must solve questions because they talk about some key concepts that we would like to know that you are probably expected to know to get a good score on the gmat quant but they're not very difficult questions they're the moderate level difficulty questions the first one is from number properties concept tested is number of factors and what kind of factors will certain types of numbers have what is the product of all the factors of the cube of a positive integer n we need to find out the product of all the factors of the cube of a positive integer n if the product of all the factors of the square of n is n cube first data n is a positive integer that's very key second data is the product of the factors of n square is n cube n square what are all the factors of n square definitely n square is a factor of n square one is a factor of any of these numbers we also know that n is a factor of n square no doubt there at all there could be more factors but look at it the second data tells us that the product of the factors of n square is n cube now let's multiply these three numbers and check out what we get n square times 1 times n is actually equal to n cube so what can we infer from this the only factors of n square are 1 n and n square these are the only factors of this number now don't read this for a moment what can we infer about n from this see look at it if for example n is not a prime number you would have probably read it n is a prime number let's assume for a moment that n is not a prime number if n is not a prime number then n would have had one n and for a moment let's assume that it had one more additional factor let's say it has a factor which is equal to a so what will all be the factors of n square n square will have n square as a factor will definitely have n as a factor will have one as a factor and forget everything else it's going to include a as a factor because if a is a factor of n then a will be a factor of n square then the product of all of these numbers is going to be equal to a times n cube at least if not more but it is n cube so which essentially means that n could not have had any factor other than one and n if n had only two factors then n is a prime number so if the product of all the factors of n square is n cube we know that the only factors that n square can have are 1 n and n square the only factors of n square are 1 n n square we can infer that n is a prime number now that we know n is a prime number what are all the factors of n cube so we need to find out the product of all the factors of n cube factors of n cube n cube is certainly a factor n square is going to divide it n will divide it and 1 will divide it because n is a prime number n square will not have any factor other than 1 n and n square n cube is going to have all of these sub powers of it as a factors and cannot have any other factor so these are all the factors of n cube the product of all of these factors is therefore going to be equal to n cube times n square times n times 1 which is equal to n power 6 choice b is the correct answer so these two steps are very very crucial right knowing that the product of all the factors of n square is n cube then we know that these are the three minimum factors it's got and this product itself ends up being n cube then the only factors in n square that n square could have are these three numbers 1 n n square the only factors for n square are 1 and n square then it's only possible when n is prime we establish that because if n is not prime it's going to have an additional factor in addition to 1 and n which means that the product of the factors of n square cannot be n cube it will be a times n cube at least or probably even more than that because it is this we can say that a as another factor for n cannot exist which means n is prime if n is prime for example let's take 2 as a prime what are all the factors of 2 cube then we'll just go with the number factors of 2 cube will be 2 cube 2 square 2 and 1 because the only prime factor of 2 cube is a 2 so all the sub powers are the only possible factors for it so product of all of these is going to be equal to 2 power 6 if n is equal to 2 in general when n is prime that's going to be equal to n power 6 right good question to get an understanding about both what number of factors are and how powers and uh, factors of powers of prime numbers will behave before you leave two things sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core it's one of the most comprehensive online gmat course get started with a free topic statistics and averages build momentum to your gmat preparation subsequently pay up and unlock the remaining topics lastly subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for gmat you may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee 
and enjoy member only perks that come with it and will help you boost your gmat preparation